to yet another beer review with moi, Peter the Master of Hobbits, and Jakob the Lord Maltz. Today we're going to be drinking yet another of the beers sent to me from Chris from Beer Geek Nation. Or to us. us. Sorry. <laughs> it's going to be a Terrapin beer. It's going to be my first ever Terrapin beer, which is awesome because I really have been wanting to try their stuff for quite some time. And it's uh, a beer that was previously part of their side project series, but now is part of their monster beer tour, which is their bigger beers. And it's the Terrapin Gamma Ray. Lovely label. All Terrapin beers really have some pretty cool labels, I think. Um, pretty cool. And it's a wheat wine brewed with honey. Or, yeah, wheat wine. Not barley wine, but wheat wine, since it's wheat. And it's on 10.8%. says here, the Terrapin Gamma Ray is a massive wheat beer brewed with an obscene amount of locally produced honey from Savannah Bee Company. Cause sometimes... Cause sometimes you feel like a superhero. <laughs> It says, yeah, he does look like, look like a superhero on the label, that turtle. I don't know. Yeah, but I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, let's get it cracked open and see what it's like. Pretty nice color there. It's uh, It does look like a wheat beer. It's a dark, or like a hazy, hazy yeah. golden, dark orange color. A white head on mine. Jakob has got no head. Loser. <laughs> but uh, let's check out the aroma. Wow. Wow, that smells really nice. Wow, you <laughs> smell a lot of wheat and yeah. a lot of banana too, actually. Yeah. Almost like a banana, you know, like in a white rice beer, a white uh, Kind of like a strange oregano. Or yeah. oregano. Yeah, like a spice and bubble yeah. gum. Yeah. Kind of like a bubble gum though. Wow, this smells really nice, actually. Some, some spicy. Do you know what it smells like to me? Uh, more of like a. Um, a like a Weizen? A Hefe Weizen? More so than like a barley wine style, yeah. Beer. But it's I guess it's kind of like that. It's just a huge wheat beer, but How definitely much was it on? ten point ten point eight percent. So it's a big beer. A ten out of ten. Smells <laughs> <laughs> really nice. I do get a little touch of alcohol in the aroma. Yeah, but the bubble gum. I I, I just got the bubble gum. Yeah, and it's it's actually quite nice. <laughs> And there's some fruitiness in there, other than the banana, just like a general light fruity kind of aroma, I think. Yeah, gr almost green apple yeah. kind of yeah, fruitiness. Should we give it a taste? Yeah, it smells really nice. nice. Cheers. Cheers. That's actually pretty tasty. Wow, yeah. I get a lot of the, the honey, actually, in the flavor. Mm. We're having this um, just chilled for about 20, not even, like 15 minutes in the fridge um, because I wasn't sure if I should ch chill it or not because it was a weak beer uh, but I did, I did chill it a little bit what, I, th I think I'll call the body light to medium especially yeah. for such a big imperial beer mm -hmm. and uh, lightly dry mouthfeel yeah, you get a touch of alcohol taste mm. but it's it's nothing that puts off the taste or anything also I get a light, a light floral kind of note to it yeah. And there's a lot of sweetness from the honey, too. It's actually quite nice. Yeah. Uh, there is this is actually a real... And the thing is, you don't really taste the alcohol, you, you feel a little bit of the burn, but this would be a nice summer beer, actually, even though it's on 10%, I think. Yeah, but there's a lot of... I get a lot of the honey. It's just filling my mouth. It's sticking sticking to the side. It's kind of... You don't like that? No, 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 no. no, no oh, okay. No. But you get that sticky honey sensation. Yeah, do you know what? It reminds me of an imperial version of a Hefeweizen, kind of, almost. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you think about it. Yeah. Uh, it kind of does. It does have that wheaty, banana-y flavor. And it's got some subtle spicy notes, too, but they're very subtle. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, it's I, got, like, a candy-like sweetness, which yeah, should be also I, that I, bubble I got, gum flavor. Yeah, bu bu bubble gum. I got that also. It's... On the back. Yeah, yeah back it's back. actually really nice, the yeah. bubble gum flavor. <laughs> I really like that bubblegum flavor, actually. I'm gonna give it an 85. It's not the best uh, like mm. wheat beer or imperial wheat beer I've had. Um, I mean, for example, McKellar is not just another wit, which is much better than this, <laughs> but it doesn't really have uh, as much of a bubblegum flavor as this. Yeah. But it, it's still quite nice, so I'm gonna give it an 85, yeah. It's, uh, it's a pretty nice beer, for sure. It is definitely a pretty nice beer, but I still get that spirity kind of feel in my mouth, and I'm not too fond of that, so I am going to give it a 82. Um, there's some bubblegum notes and the honey is definitely playing up with you and it's rather complex for a wheat beer, mm -hmm. but st still, 82, yeah. Yeah, pretty good beer, definitely nice, so check it out. <laughs> check it out for sure, if you get terrapin beers, um, and let us know what you think of it, if you've had it. Um, 
And if you're interested in donating some Terrapin beer for the show, you... <laughs> <laughs> that would be lovely, because I really want to try one of their stuff. I know it just sounds nagging in any way. But yeah, guys, that's it for this beer review. An 85 and an 82 from, ya uh, from me and Jakob for the uh, Terrapin Gamma Ray from their Monster Beer Tour series. Good stuff. So yeah, guys, uh, remember to let us know what you think of it if you go ahead. And uh, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, all the stuff. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And we're going to see you guys in another beer review. <laughs> cheers. Cheers.